dollars. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart here, folks, of the cash S and P, uh, mainly because we look at that the S and P futures, uh, which mimics this 100 percent. Well, follows it 100 percent because of what it's based on. But you can see yesterday's low was a perfect A B C D pattern that we talked about. And of course, we've had a big rally today. You'll see that we rallied up to the 78 percent level of the high that we made uh, two day, uh, six days ago. So I, I think that uh, it may or may not mean anything, but the fact that we had this huge gap here uh, this morning that tells us that, my goodness, everything has changed, and Camelot is back. And speaking of Camelot, I want, we were talking about the Nat, um, <laughs> let's try it again, folks. We're going to try to uh, talk about the uh, banking index, folks. And I do want to show you something because this is a possibility that may tell us that everything is okay and that there is no problem anywhere in any of the other banks. Now, remember, yesterday, all 40 Let's try it again, Larry. All 50 of these banking index stocks that are in this ETF for the NASDAQ were down. And look at today. Every single one of them gapped up, leaving an infamous island reversal, which has the potential to be incredibly bullish. So it's wonderful to report here that everything seems to be uh, in place for much, much higher prices. However... Let's just look at it from the other side of the coin. This is just a big rally of what's going on now. We have been talking about one of these markets for a very, very long time, which has been the Russell, the fact that it has been the weakest. And I'm just going to bring this up to you this morning, and uh, I'll let you decide if you think this is a wonderful, and it may be wonderful, folks. I'll be the first one to recognize it. But by that time... I will be passing my 95th birthday, which will be in 13 years. Here, oh, is that right? Oh, my God, only 12 years. Shut the front door. Here's what we've done so far today. We might have made a, a double bottom down in this area. Very, very possible to do that. Uh, you see we've hit the 382 uh, several different times here over the past weeks, which we've reported on. We've also reported on the Dow Jones Transportations, and I wanted to, to bring that up to let you see what uh, that one looks like so you have a pretty good idea, because uh, I just have to give you both sides of the trade to see what's going on. Um, here's where we are, and then you'll see we had this. We had Apple, of course, came out, and not only that, they increased their dividend by uh, – what they increase the dividend by 25% up to four cents or something like that. And they have a $90 billion buyback program. They're going to be buying back their stock. So that stock is way up in the air today. I uh, saw it hit 173 and change. And so that looks like it's uh, off uh, to the races. Now, I wanted to bring to you uh, what's going on here with the Russell because someone was kind enough to send us this really and, and this is pretty much up to date folks this is a Russell and this hourly chart I want to get it up here because when people see these patterns that we talk about I think it's important that we recognize the quality of the work and as you can see here we have a beautiful 135 pattern setting here you can see we made new lows yesterday, and then, of course, you know we're up here now uh, at that same level. Now, if we clear above this last high, this would mean the Dow would have to be up 600 points 
which is not far away because it was up about 480 at one time, we could easily get ready to see a big move uh, to the upside. And, of course, we do know that there's some outstanding targets up there at that 4230 level, and that's an important uh, spot to uh, pay very, very close attention to as we look at that. But to me, the key to all this stuff is the euro, and we went, we've gone through that so many times that it is, uh, and we had a really, well, not a substantial break, but we took out the previous two days' lows uh, in this euro, and I wanted to uh, uh, alert you to that. And, and believe me, all these patterns could fail, folks, and, uh, you know, we could just go on for another several months to the upside but uh, if they get if they can close about this 111 area it's 109 and change right now uh, small change actually and if it does close above there then you'd be looking at a market that is extremely strong and uh, will really go a very very long way now let's talk about the other flip side of the coin because if we have the euro that is starting to break down that tells us that the US dollar is is strong and that usually means that the gold market is under some pressure so if you remember yesterday we were talking about the gold made this up big level up here at 40 uh, <laughs> 2085 we came down and then today we rallied yesterday we rallied up exactly to the exact tick at the 61% retracement level, and the gold has now dropped $90. That also completes a big ABCD to the downside here, folks, so this may be a good buying opportunity. Silver did not back off very much at all, folks. I mean, I'm talking 50 cents or so. That's nothing compared to what happened with the uh, with the gold market. That's, uh, that's another one that's really just uh, totally... Uh, Totally bonkers. So, you know, you got, and remember, folks, it's a market of stocks, not a stock market. And same thing in commodities. You got to look at each one uh, separately. When we get back from our next break, we are going to talk. Hold on just a second. I've got to get this up here. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, we can do this now. We've got more time. Let's take a look for our good friend, old Steve, over there in uh, Austin, Texas, because by golly, we had a really nice one today. The market came down and went exactly to where we thought it was going to go yesterday at that 78% level. It's had a pretty good bounce right now, but it went three points, $150. Excuse me, under excuse me, $300 under the under the 78% level, and it's now has rallied $15. So this could mean that we're setting at the right the right spot. Uh, we mentioned yesterday also the fact that that uh, crude oil, you know, had a big rally, and the rally has continued today. We'll have uh, Mike Moore on the break uh, to talk to us uh, about that, but that was a, a huge break that we had in the uh, market, and it's going in the uh, crude oil market, and uh, it has uh, rallied back uh, considerably, you know, since that point. We're going to take a little break now. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart here of the crude oil. Uh, so we'll have Mike uh, Moore coming on pretty soon here in about 20 minutes. But uh, remember, he, he was really pretty bearish in here uh, during this time uh, and he mourned that you know going through the support you know said uh, it was going to be uh, you know really bad and of course everybody that follows me realized that we had a buy uh, right here right above that spot I mean it was just spot on where we were going to buy it and if you believe that boys and girls I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge but I do want to share with you something that we do talk about here that does work. It doesn't work all the time, but by golly, when you see really strong trending markets and one that's just been that way, uh, I want you to bring it to your attention. So here's where we were just a little while ago, and I wanted to show you the importance of this 382 uh, retracement, the most important ratio that I've ever seen for trading purposes, because this doggone thing. <laughs> Man, it don't work all the time, but it works better than 70% of the time. And does it ever pay off? Look at this, folks. That is to the tick, the exact 382 of this low down here when we broke that $65. This is, I don't know what caused this. They probably had somebody uh, trapped really bad, but that's a, that's a legitimate. That, that took a, the total of about three minutes to go down that far and up that far. That's about a $9,000 move in crude oil in just a matter, but we stopped exactly at that level. And then this morning, I wanted to bring it to your attention, what has been happening since that time. And that's what's really interesting, and we'll get this up here to show you where we are. Hold on one second, and uh, we'll move up here. And there it is right now. You see, we've gone another, see, this is where we were before, and we've gone another a uh, dollar and a half a, a barrel higher. So what we're we watching now will be an ABCD on this somewhere up into this level. But boy, folks, pay attention to that. Uh, I'm going to focus on that the next time we do a day trading thing. I think I'm just going to do 382 retracements because in strong trending markets, you know, they're they're re <clears throat> excuse me, they're they're the cat's meow. They 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 really are. So, okay, that covers uh, that. Now we need to cover uh, 
Uh, we've covered the natural gas. Okay, I will write this down so I have everything done. I covered the gold market. I covered the euro market. Uh, I covered the S&P market. Oh, I'm pretty much done for the day. No, I'm not. I wanted to go back, and I want to show you on the shorter term time frame one other one that looks really interesting because we are up right near uh, some very, very major resistance here. Uh, if there is such a thing in stocks, this is the NASDAQ. Remember, we made the perfect ABCD down there in the S&P yesterday. Down there, uh, I just showed it to you in the S&P cash and also futures did exactly the same thing. There's the NASDAQ. You'll see it makes the ABCD pattern to the downside. And it's rallied up. And now, folks, we have this same 135 pattern forming that our friend was kind enough to show it to us. I po posted it as the first chart of the day, showing that's what we're looking at. The thing is, if we, get the, if we get the NASDAQ up about $250, that means that we're going to go a great deal higher in this market. And uh, everybody is, gee, when I listen to what's going on in Bloomberg, it's just wonderful how Chairman Powell has orchestrated this wonderful bull market and everything is uh, uh, copacetic. I can remember Ben Bernanke in October of 1927, uh, 20, when I first started doing this show uh, 17 years ago, the, uh, the, uh, uh, he was saying, all the lights are green, folks. There's no problem with the real estate market at all. This was in October of 07. Go check it online. You'll be able to see. And, and I'm not saying that, that, that he did it wrong or whatever or anything, but everybody makes mistakes. Raise my hand. I make them all the time. <laughs> mistakes is my middle name, as I'm reminded of so many times. But anyway, that's what we're really paying uh, some really close attention to. But occasionally, ABCD works pretty good, and I wanted to show you this one, folks, because uh, everybody said I was nuts on this one, and they might have been right, but not on this one. And this is what's happened uh, when you have an ABCD in the gold market. Uh, the, well, it's not gold, but it looks gold because it's wheat, and wheat has a golden shaft, as you know. And you notice this is your 382 retracement, and now we've got went all the way up. Uh, we've rallied. Uh, well over 58 cents in this uh, in three in two days here uh, in the wheat market, folks. And that tells you the wheat market has finally bottomed down here. I remember back in June of last year, it was trading for $13.50 a bushel and was limit up, and the whole world wanted it. Yet two days ago, it was trading right near right near 5.99. We got down to 5.03 and three quarters. And you couldn't give it away. And, of course, now, you know, people are there and they don't have to give it away because the market's, uh, you know, moving and moving very, very fast uh, uh, to the upside. So this is going to be very interesting day to day. We're still up quite strongly here in these markets. And it, it doesn't appear that there's going to be, you know, much of a sell off on these darn thing. Well, these uh, I, they're not a darn things or anything, but I do want to. Uh, say that any really strong close today above 600 points in the Dow Jones is going to set up a potential for this breakout uh, in the S&P 500 if in fact uh, it does but remember we have to be able to get it up uh, a lot higher you know the the Dow Jones transportation just barely took out the previous day's high and I have to show you this chart one more time here uh, in this Russell, because this has been the weakest of all. Fortunately, that's the one that we've, we've recommended being short if because it's much easier to trade. Well, we've been short the others too. And uh, uh, we, didn't, we didn't get a, a, a high enough sale today uh, in the S&P futures. We needed to get it uh, up to uh, uh, 4150. Uh, I might still get there at 4150. I'll certainly be looking at that one because that's going to be the, the big 786. But if we look at this, Russell, uh, on the hourly basis, you'll see that that is a perfect 135 pattern, and it has backed off uh, from that level. So we're going to find out if, in fact, this is going to be uh, something that is uh, going to be important or not. 
excuse me, folks, I'm a little uh, under the, the Palo Verde tree. I love those trees, but boy, April, May is always tough for me. But we've only got a couple more weeks, and then they'll be they'll be done pollinating. You know what I should do is uh, a Monday show. I'm going to bring up pictures of these beautiful trees, and you'll see see what they look like. They're just they're just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're going to take a break here now, and we're going to have Mike Moore, of more more analytics coming up. So he's always fun. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I have my fingers crossed to see if we have Mike Moore, have more analytics on the line this morning. Are you there, Mike? I'm here, I'm here Larry. How are you? Uh, living the dream on the green side of the grass, my friend. So please, uh, by the way, congratulations. Uh, everybody's been very happy that you warned us that this could possibly happen uh, in the uh, complex of uh, crude oil and heating oil and gasoline. And boy, you nailed it pretty good. Tell us what we're looking at now, my friend. And we have one question before we start. Do yeah. you know what caused that last $4 down uh, the other day when we dropped from uh, – 
I think we dropped all the way down from 68 down to 64. What all I see on my chart is a, a giant spike. Do you, do you have any idea what caused that? Uh, I don't. Okay, those, fair enough. Wake Move up on. And they, they, they whack it down and, and whip it back. I don't. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'd like to sound more knowledgeable about it, but <clears throat> honestly, just over the years, I've, I've just so become so accustomed to, you know, the technicals and what they represent yeah, and leaning on them. There's obviously a fundamental story behind it. I just I'm not sure what that particular spike. To, um, I, I'd, I'd like to tell you, Mike, but then I'd have to kill you. You know what I mean? Because I'm <laughs> the only one that really knows why it happened. But I'm I'm sworn to secrecy by my friends in the in the uh, in the oil business. <laughs> hey, <laughs> tell us what we're looking at in the future here, my friend. You've done a great job so far. So please uh, give us a heads up. Thank you, Larry. Do you want to start off with natural or crude, or do you want to start off with the S&P? Let's do natural and then crude, and then we'll do the S&P and anything else that you might have, because uh, okay. uh, we, we really like to see what you're doing. All right. So the natural gas, I mean, as some of you know, uh, if you've been listening to the show for a while, we've been in this long-term bearish uh, bias in here. Basically, we've been we've been bearish since 844 for the past seven, six and a half dollars or whatever. But more recently, we had that large projection downward uh, uh, from 499.30 of 227 minimum, 370 plus maximum. And we saw over three of that so far. But what I've been talking about is possibly um, hitting exhaustion levels down here on a macro level and a possible ensuing 990 tick rally. Now, we held a low here. We didn't quite see the nine tick. Well, definitely didn't see the 990, but nonetheless, it held an exhaustion level bounce. Took out this exhaustion level, and then I had said that yesterday that we were looking for exhaustion at 2031, or 203.10, excuse me, and we held 203.10 exactly uh, this morning. So we're bouncing from that. And again, the way you play these exhaustion levels is you buy against them, you pay for your trade. If it blows down through them, you haven't lost anything or maybe you've made something on the upside. And if the other portion of your uh, position holds, you can catch a tremendous ride to the upside. So if this does hold and it does start uh, an official macro bullish correction, it could exceed 990 ticks to the upside. Um, but... Setting that aside, we've been bearish since we broke back down below this line up in here and breaking below this line and then breaking below this line has pressed it all down. That recent line had said um, the trade below uh, 231.60 projected this downward. We've seen 285 ticks of that so far. And I think, yeah, 285 of that so far. So, Holding that exhaustion, and then uh, we've already tested above this low once already and rolled over. But if we really start climbing back up in here, we might start to build more of a of a basing pattern in here. And if we get back above this line, that'll change the picture to bullish for sure. And that would come in at uh, 238.10. And that would come 238.10 plus 0.7 of a tick per hour. So overall still bearish, but right now this looks like we're getting the bounce from the exhaustion area we're worried about. And if it takes out that exhaustion level, then I would look for the next exhaustion level at 194.60 to 193.20. Make sure you want to crude? Yes, sir. Please do. So the crude, so this is a really exciting day to be on the show to see what's going on in the energy complex because we are right at a huge defining point of the market. Um making a large move. Now, number one, the crude, we were bearish in here for multiple reasons. Today, looks like we're leaving this maintained gap higher. If that le stays in place at the end of the day, meaning that today's intraday low does not get below 69.84, um, then that's going to leave a minor bullish reversal below. And the other thing is we've broken below this major formation here and i said if we break below it and back above it it will warrant a decent short covering so possibly for days so talk about that a little bit in here um the break below break below 65 31 to 30 and back above now warrants a de decent short covering we'd seen 517 so far 
uh, before going into this morning, and we've seen even more to that. Um, if we take that line decently, take it out decently on the downside, that's going to negate the short covering bias and it's going to resume bearishness. Now, and there's another uh, formation above here, actually, that came in at 79.04 minus 2.5 ticks per hour this morning. Decent break above that will project this higher as well. Um, but the, the key here in the complex is the RBOB was, reading, was leading the downside in the complex. And you can see that from the RBOB crack was really pushing this down, meaning the RBOB is weak relative to the crude. And what is happening here is we broke below this major formation right in here, which I said projected this downward 47 cents minimum, 98 cents plus maximum. <coughs> we only attained 11.97 cents of that, and we've come right back up to test above this line. But we have not gotten a decent penetration above it. And what do I mean by a decent penetration? I send those out in my morning emails to clients. I'll just pick up, I'll pull up an example here to you. Uh, when you uh, question when people are asking the R Bob, that means ga uh, gasoline, correct? Yes, unleaded gasoline. Yes, okay. So, for instance, this is an email that I send out to my clients in the morning, and this has these decent penetrations all listed in here, right? Um, but this morning it was 319 in the unleaded gas, and you can see that we've got, we came to within 20 ticks of that stop, I think, right in here. That line, which the T3 line comes in at, yeah, it came in at 237.21, and the high was uh, 240 even. So just 40, 40 ticks shy of the stop here and started to roll over. So what does that mean? That means that the crude oil has broken back above a major formation, which warns of strength in there, but the unleaded gasoline is still holding below a bearish formation. So one of these has got to give. If the unleaded gets through here and takes that stop out, then this whole that's going to really put gas gas on the upside, and the whole whole complex should rally for days. And the one other thing, not to jump around too much, is the gas oil. Got okay, got to pay we'll a few back. bills. We'll be, we'll be right yeah. back. Mike Moore, more analytics. Stay tuned, folks. Great stuff. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back with Mike, more, more more analytics. Please continue, Michael. This is great stuff. Sure, thank you. Um, by the way, just to back up a little bit, because um, some of you may just be get, uh, getting on here, we had talked about leaving this uh, moderate bearish reversal above and breaking breaking below 80.88 and the crude oil up in here. These are levels that we got bearish from, and on the very high, the R the RBOB actually held exhaustion on the very highs. That was the the warning that we would see the downward movement, and in the crude, we've seen uh, from that trade below 8088, we saw seventeen dollars and twenty four cents to the downside before seeing this pop. Now we're bullish because well. we broke above here. <laughs> What's that? I remember it well. You certainly talked about that, and that was the key to this down movement that we've seen in the whole complex. So. Amen. Please continue. <clears throat> well, I just thought I would tie that out because we finished that move and now we're into the next. So in the RBOB right here, um, or the unleaded gasoline, we were also bearish from these upper levels in here. And now we're just, this is just the key right here. We came 40, 40 ticks away from uh, seeing a massive move to the upside here. And we'll have to see whether it rallies up there overnight or this thing capitulates and rolls over to the downside. The other thing that I would note is that the gas oil, which is like Europe's version of our heating oil, this is important also. Sorry, let me pull it up here. As the gas oil right in here just broke back above a major formation. Mm -hmm. So I had projections to the downside of 100 minimum, but we only saw a portion of that before breaking back above here. We saw 34.50 of it, but we've broken back up here today, which warns of significant short covering for days, probably as much as $100, which could be 10 grand per contract over the next couple of weeks. And so I'd be watching that R Bob like a hawk. That's really the key. And looking at these uh, spreads here, you can set, like I said, the, the cracks, the gas was leading on the downside. And the heating oil really led a large portion of that to the downside, more so than the gas crack. I've turned bullish on this the past couple of days because we held these key exhaustion levels right in here. I said that this this holding this exhaustion level could bring in a significant bounce. And uh, we've seen so far. This is the, the difference in, in saying this, like if you were short on the downside, um, the crude instead of the heat over these past few days then it would have a difference of three thousand dollars a contract and looking at the and in this area right in here where we were bearish all the way down here was a difference of 11 grand per contract so that just goes to show you the importance of, of paying attention to the difference of what's going on in these spreads and the other big story here is the RBOB to heat spread flipped the other day we failed back down through this formation which I said would bring it would bring in bearishness we broke below another formation right here, which projects it downward 800 ticks minimum, 1600 ticks plus maximum. So just in that short amount of time, you can see it's a difference of three grand per contract. 
and looking to extend even further out. Did I go through that all that too quick? <laughs> if we have any no, questions? No, listen. Uh, we've been we've been talking about you uh, all week long because several people have asked questions when you're going to be coming on again because of the fact that you had uh, alerted uh, us to the fact that this thing was really looking weak, and I think that was about six or seven days ago. And of course, every day this week, with the exception of today. It's been down, and it was down big time earlier, and then of course rallied back. But no, this is a this is the kind of thing we like to see here. You we, we and when you're wrong, they they will certainly let you know. But when you're right, uh, they want to give you uh, your due. And you you said it was going to happen, and uh, it's it's gone a little lower than you thought it was going to go. But that's the way bear markets act. So please keep continuing what we're looking at. You want do you want to do the um, uh, let's do the S and P next. Okay. Yeah, the S&P and the gold both have big stories in there. And by the way, I'm used to the pressure because when I used to work on the trading floor, you'd have to walk <laughs> in and see 850 traders and they could all tell you whether your calls the day before were good or bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, okay, S&P 500. So if you recall the other day, I said that we were approaching a key exhaustion level up in here. And that was, I warned we were in the last stretch of the move up from 38, 39 and a quarter. And if so, there was key exhaustion at 4205.75. We held that with the 4206 and a quarter high. And I warned that if that 4206 and a quarter holds, it could start a bearish correction, which should exceed 136.75 to the downside, making the minimum target 4069.5. And we attained 144 of the 136.75 before holding initial exhaustion at 40.75 to 40.66 with the 40.62.25 low and bouncing. So when we were talking in the last time, I think we'd come off somewhere into here. And I said that our target was right down in here at this red line. So we hit that target. And I also said uh, when we were talking on the show before, I had this rectangle here, which I said would be a major area of possible exhaustion. We poked below it just a little bit here, but that's basically still holding it. And now we're rallying back out of here. So the question is, is this going to rally back out of here and go into a deeper correction or take off to the upside again? Um, the fact that we left, we're leaving a bullish reversal below, a minor bullish reversal below, suggests we'll probably see higher trade for a couple of days, and then we'll have to see where from there. I don't have any major uh, prediction from here. I would say, though, that this did fulfill the minimum requirement for uh, a bona fide bearish correction. If this does go up and take out these highs, that's an even stronger uh, bullish signal because it didn't go into the deeper levels. Uh, and that could start a new bullish structure out of there. Any questions on that before I go to gold? No, no, that's, that's fine. Uh, let's do the gold. That's another okay. one. Put a $90 break in, in uh, 24 hours. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that, that, yeah, so that, the gold, a few uh, people. Yeah, the gold here, big story in here, as you remember from the show the other day, I said that if we broke back above this line, we would see significant strength, which we saw in there. Uh, we were looking for um, the trade above 2014-20. I said projected to separate 27 minimum, 43 plus maximum. We attained 71.2 of that before rolling over. And I put all that on hold uh, because of this main big projection right here. Uh, I had said that if we broke solidly above 2062.90, we'd have uh, – major projections to the upside, but if that failed, it would have major implications for the downside. So it failed, and then I said the other day that this is now poised for solid pressure, and uh, I said to sell back against that. We pulled right back up to here to 2068.10, didn't get the stop, and now we're rolling over. So I think that this could come off for days slash weeks. If we take out this lower line here, that's gonna crush it right down to this line, and if we take out this line, um, hey, that's good. Hey, Mike, we got a break coming up here, so we're going to have you on next uh, next Friday. So uh, or Wednesday okay. or Friday, whenever we have time. So uh, okay. we'll be doing two shows uh, next week. I'm only doing one show today because of the 
the allergies. But uh, we'll see you next Wednesday for sure. Thank you so much for your information. You got it. Are we all done for today? Uh, we've got two more. Two, we got a segment coming up after this. If you're looking for potential trading Stay setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. We want to continue. We've got about a two-minute segment, but we'd like to tell the folks how they can reach you, Mike. Uh, sure. Let so, me um, pull that up. You see that? Yes, sir. More analytics. We see it right there. Yep. So there's different um, plans you could sign up for: the energy plan, or the gold, or the S and P. There's also auto trade programs for those that don't really actively trade. Okay. Um, and obviously, explanation sheets on how to use all my hieroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we live and um, die by hieroglyphics, so please continue, yeah. my friend. They work really good, so. Um, thank you. So, you know, basically here, the, the gold is poised for significant pressure. We've already seen about 5,500 per lot of that from the breakdown. I think that we're probably going to take this line out and take this line out and keep seeing pressure. If we take out that lower one, that's going to project this downward $92 minimum. So this upper line right here, T2, comes in at uh, 2011. It decreases slightly per hour. The lower one comes in here at 1995 and increases slightly per hour. You know, decent penetration below there was 11.1 .1 today, but that always that changes every day. So if anybody does come on, wants to come on as, as a client and friend and 
joiner of me with these crazy markets. Uh, I put those out every day. Uh, they they fluctuate with volatility. And if we break below this line decently and back up through it decently, I'd be out of all shorts, get long again, and look for this thing to rally. And then there's some other formations up here that we're not really close to that if we took those out, then it could spark a whole nother upside rally. Did you want to look at Bitcoin quick or are we out of time? Yes, sir. We have time. Oh, no. Go, let's try. We've only got a few right. seconds. So Bitcoin just broke out to the upside, took out this, uh, this formation right here. So I'm bullish unless we fail back down below that line, which comes around 29,200. Mike, thank you very much. We'll see you next week, my friend. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Okay, buddy. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>